everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another palette video. Today I'm talking about my favorite rainbow palettes. I am probably the hairstylist with the worst hair ever. My hair looks disgusting, but look how cute these earrings are. Liz made this over on Etsy or Instagram. I will link her down below so you can check her out. Look how cute these are. She makes the cutest polymer clay earrings ever. So thank you for sending these my way. Not sponsored, I did purchase these. I love her to death, she's amazing. Anyway, today I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about my 10 favorite rainbow palettes. I love doing colorful looks and because it is Pride Month, I was thinking, you know, rainbows. I couldn't really come up with any fun rainbow looks I wanted to do, so I thought it would be fun to talk about my favorite rainbow palettes. So let's just go ahead and dive in to my top 10 rainbow palettes. I apologize if you can hear all the talking and stuff in the background. I live with people that are loud. Coming in at number 10, this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. I actually have no idea when this came out forever ago. It's probably the oldest thing ever in my collection. I did purchase this from somebody that had it previously, so this had a previous owner. And I do like the color selection in here. I like that they're all kind of like cohesive, like you have kind of your grungier tones, your pastel tones, and your brights. The only thing I don't like about this palette is that there isn't any true mattes in it. There's only like these satiny finishes. You do have some shimmers, but a lot of these colors are satin finishes, which I am not a huge fan of, simply because sometimes I just want a solid matte finish look. You know, this is what she looks like. I'm pretty sure 90% of you have never even heard of this palette. So um, this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette. Number nine, I chose the Violet Boss Flamingo Palette. This is what she looks like inside. I really like this one for a lot more like muted colorful looks. So like pastels or some of those beachy colors, the yellows and oranges are really pretty in here. And I also really like the teals and blue shades in here as well. I love that every single matte has shimmers that go amazing with it. So you don't just have a yellow, you have a yellow and like a yellow shimmer. You have an aqua and like an aqua shimmer. Like you have shimmers to go with your mattes and I absolutely love that. You'll actually see me talk about that a little bit later in this video. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when rainbow palettes come with a matte but they don't have a corresponding shimmer. I just, I like having options and I feel like this gives me plenty of options. It also has some neutral shades right over here. So you can kind of use this as an everyday palette but also for a fun pop of color. This one I believe is still available at Sephora if you're interested. I know it's been out for a couple years now. I got this one at Disneyland right after I moved to LA, so that's a fun little fact. Palette number eight, this is the BH Weekend Festival palette, and this is what this one looks like. Although this palette is no longer available, BH Cosmetics always comes out with like Coachella themed palettes around festival season, so this happened to be the one from I believe two years ago, and they have since had like two more. I love their formula though. BH Cosmetics is super affordable. They just know how to do a great matte and a great shimmer. Like they, they know what they're doing. And this palette has plenty of neutral shades in it, but also has fun pops of color. I did a David Bowie look using this palette. And I also like using this kind of for like everyday looks because it does have some of those neutrals and easy to use colors. Also look at the packaging, it's super cute. It has like the little Ferris wheel from Coachella and like palm trees and stuff. A lot of the palettes in this video I realize are no longer available. I just kind of wanted to talk about which rainbow palettes that I really like using. So if you're wondering, I also will link everything down below if it is still available so you can go and pick those up. Palette number seven, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Alyssa Edwards collaboration. Now I love Alyssa Edwards. She's like one of my favorite drag queens ever. If you've watched RuPaul, Girl, you know what I'm talking about, but this is like, this is her palette. This one is not the most colorful palette. It doesn't have the most diverse range of colors in here, but I do really like these shades right here. There are plenty of neutrals. There's the white and the black, which I really like, but then you also have like the best yellow, pink, and blue shades ever. I feel like these are just so bold and so bright that for that reason, I normally reach for this palette if I want one of those colors. I feel like this palette kind of got shadowed. It was sandwiched in between Riviera and I think the Jackie Ina, and I feel like both of those got so much more hype than this one, but I still really like this one. Palette number six is yet again another discontinued palette. This is the Morphe 35 B. I can't even open this. This used to be my holy grail rainbow colorful palette. I feel like this was at one point every Morphe lover's holy grail rainbow palette. This has just such a wide variety of colors. 
there's a yellow row, an orange row, pink row, like red, you have just rows of all these different colors, which I love. And it's been really helpful for if I want to do specific looks. Last year I did a Billie Eilish inspired look, so I used the greens. And it's really good if you like just need plenty of options for one specific color because you have plenty different shades of that specific color and you also have different finishes with the mattes and the shimmers and the satins. I do wish they would bring this one back. I feel like they took this one away way too early and now they don't really have like a set rainbow palette if that makes sense. They have come out with some colorful things since then. Uh, they did the 35i which was like the pastel palette. This will I think always hold a special place in my heart when it comes to rainbow palettes. Moving on to number five. This is a ColourPop build it yourself or like build your own palette thing that I did. And remember when I was talking about the Violet Voss and how it always frustrated me that there was never a matte and a shimmer of the same color in any palette. Well that is why I created this. This is like my pastel loving dream. Half of it is matte shades and half of it is shimmer shades and I tried to pick one matte and one shimmer for each color so I could have options. I have a matte pink, a shimmer pink, a matte blue, a shimmer blue. This has some really nice pastel shades if you're looking for really good ones. I will link some of these down below and let you know like the shade names and everything. But this one's a lot of fun. I do reach for this one when I want to do more pastel-y looks. This is what I consider to be my pastel palette so pretty much all of the pastel shades I reach for I reach for out of this palette and then I also have the cutest little butterfly case. Palette number four this is the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette this is one of I feel like the best rainbow palettes out there this one is again one that I feel like has a little bit of everything there's tons of mattes and there's also a lot of shimmers and although there isn't like corresponding shimmers to mattes um, I feel like the combination he picked out just really works for this palette. And as you can tell, a lot of these shades have like the logos kind of like smudged out because I've used it so often. This was his summer palette from last year. It is still one of my favorite, if I think I would consider this like my favorite Jeffree Star palette. I just, I use it all the time. It has everything I could want in it and it really just... The formula is so good, like, I don't know, he just really knows how to do colorful shadows. So this is my number four colorful palette. Palette number three, this is Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette. And this is, ugh, top three were hard for me to place, but this is just the most gorgeous neon rainbow palette. I got this um, when Riley Rose was still open. I got it from Riley Rose. I believe Pinky Rose has their own website though. Um, this just, the formula is really nice. I like how long lasting these shadows are and how pigmented they are. Like these are super, super neon. I don't have any shades this vibrant in my collection in any other palette. I just, I love it. I don't really use the glitter shades too much, but these just are the most vibrant neon shades ever. This one, this green one I used in my Billie Eilish look, I used a lot of these brighter shades for some of my rainbow looks. If you're in the market for a good neon, I definitely recommend Pinky Rose. I feel like they are an indie brand and they just don't get that much attention. I really like their formula though and I highly recommend you check them out if you have not already. Moving into number two, we have another indie brand. This is Juvia's Place and this is the Zulu palette. These pan sizes are humongous. I have had this for multiple years. This is my go-to for yellows and purples. I love these two shades. This just has a lot of your basics, so if you need just one rainbow palette in your collection, I feel like this is a good one. It has nine shades. The pans are insanely huge, so you just, you'll never run out. And they're super, super affordable. Like, I believe this palette is like $14 or something. This is a black-owned indie brand, so especially with the Black Lives Matter movement, I highly recommend you check them out if you have not already. They make some of the most amazing products ever. I have multiple products from them in my collection, and they never disappoint. I feel like just for the price point of something like this, like, it's just amazing quality. So I highly, highly recommend this one as well. And last but not least, the Morphe 25L palette. This was the Pride palette from last year. It was limited edition, so it is no longer available, but I did talk about this in my palette tag video, which went up on Wednesday. So I'll leave a link to that one up in the cards. I love this palette. This one is my go-to rainbow palette. Every time I want to do a rainbow look, I usually start with this palette and like my Zulu palette. And then anything I can't find in those two, I'll reach into some of the other palettes I talked about in the video. There's just so many amazing finishes and colors in here, and I feel like a lot of these colors are super unique. 
There are some true colors, like a true yellow and a true red, but there are also a lot of fun, unique colors, like a mint and a lime, and this like olive yellow-green color down here. So I feel like there's just a lot of color choices in this palette, and it has a little bit of everything. So unfortunately, this one is also discontinued. I wish that they would bring this one back, though, like the other Morphe palette I talked about. This one is just super, super nice. I absolutely adore this palette, and they also donated, I believe, a percentage of the proceeds to, I think, the Trevor Project. So it was also kind of like a charity donation type situation, and I liked that about this palette. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy some of the palettes that I was talking about. Let me know in the comments what your favorite rainbow or colorful palette is right now. Also, be sure you are subscribed so you never miss out on an upload, and I'll see you guys all later.